In this world, nightmares lurk. They hide in our neighborhoods, walk our streets, wear our faces. But they are not us. They are the world's best kept secret, and we are going to find them. Welcome to Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell. The biggest flaw in studying monsters by hunting them is that the only way to prove a theory is to stake your life on it. Sometimes mistakes happen. Information can be unfounded. People can lie. Informants of informants may be wrong. And even a well-meaning friend can mislead you. In the world of the hunters, mistakes kill. So today you all stand before a shackled werewolf and a cargo hold full of vampires armed with tasers and squirt guns while the sun hovers above the horizon at your backs, getting lower and lower every minute. Let's see if any of you have made mistakes these last few days. JD, it's your turn. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. I'm scared. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I hope each of these rounds don't take a full minute. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, so... Uh, um, I'm, uh, I thought I was gonna, uh, I think I was gonna bonk old Charles in the head with a, with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> give him, give him, give him just a little bonk on the head. All right, make me, make me a strength brawl roll. Weaponry. Are you, are you using your yeah. baseball bat? Yes. All right. Well, then it will be strength weaponry, <laughs> and if you hit, then it will apply a random status ailment yes. from a chart. Yes. Because it is. Does it? It's the Slugger of Babel. It's the Slugger of Babel. And this will consume the second of three charges. Two. Two. Uh, you hit. So, let me consult the chart. I, I want to know what some of these status results are. I mean, they're, like, they're pretty standard. I, I'm curious, though. It should be like... It randomly gives him an STD, or it randomly... <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer for everything. I got hit with a bat now. I about, have about the gutter for your mind. <laughs> uh, he is blinded. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Hell yeah! Yes. That's, That's pretty good. good. That's real good. So his eyes do the little... <laughs> and uh, what is your presence? <laughs> My presence is four. <sighs> he is blinded for four turns. Yo. Yes! <laughs> Keep a tally on that. <laughs> well done. So that it's even based on my presence, which is high. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be JD's turn, how? and that brings I us. I wonder how that played out. Where you just like you hit him, and then you like flash him a smile, <laughs> and then your teeth are so white <laughs> that his eyes just cloud over. <laughs> He's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, the next turn is Darla. Oh, oh! I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna taser him. All right. So, for tasers... Hey, it's humane. I thought you were in front of the vampire. <laughs> oh, am I in front of the vampire, or am I in front of... Um... Charlie's off to the side. He came around I think the that bus. the vampires I haven't Char left the truck yet. They have. No one has left yep. the cargo van. <laughs> Charlie is uh, in directly in front of the open cargo van. JD opened that last episode. Yeah. Uh, and then on the other side of him is JD, who's fighting, and next to him is William, the werewolf that you all recruited from the local clan. And then in a ring behind them, within one turn's movement, are all of you ready to go. So I would like to well, firmly but humanely taser that werewolf. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a bag on the ground, yeah. and the bag contains a vampire. It got ripped open by William. What was about to be. Oh. I think. Well, my, my, my priority is making sure that, that Charlie doesn't fuck us, so... Uh, Firmly, but humanely. So yes, for a taser, you will roll dex weaponry, since it is a melee range taser. Oh, I should. Just and you will take away two dice from mm -hmm. his defense of two. Well, that would be a failure. 
All right. Oh. <laughs> so you uh, make a very good attempt, but he is very strong and very wily. And Have we always been rolling your dex weaponry? Because I feel like I've had more dice in the past. Perhaps not. I looked up the stats over the week uh, uh-huh. for tasers <laughs> from the book, and this is this is the ruling. Okay. Well, I should have said it differently. <laughs> <laughs> Our arch nemesis. Rule correction. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. I have to you know when I when I do figure something out on the spot, sometimes it's not right, and I am making a habit of like the next episode, I'll look it up and we'll do it proper. That's this it. week, uh, on, baby. Yes. This week on corrections. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's directly out of the vampire book. In mm-hmm. fact, you are not the first person to try and abuse their weakness to electricity. I didn't know that was a weakness. Mm. I just uh, thought of women's self-defense courses. <laughs> and she had a little pink taser. <laughs> it's so. pink uh, camo. Pink camo Because I'm from my, the country, and apologies. that's what we do. So my anyway, uh, Charlie has just been blinded, and he is reacting. He's moving around wildly, and you can't quite make the end connect to his skin. Uh, what was that, Stephen? No, I, I was just going to say, a pink camo taser in the words of my therapist there's a lot to unpack there (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that's that's also i'm such a nervous wreck i've basically destroyed my uh little nervous silly putty thing i got as a gag gift (laughs) (laughs) i totally just thought that was slime (laughs) so uh the next person on the round is william and uh william seeing that charlie is uh is incapacitated is gonna try and grapple him and, and hold him still so that Darla can make the taser mm-hmm. connect next round. So he's going to roll his strength mm-hmm. throw Uh-oh. to initiate grapple. Yeah. Oh, that's Charlie's sheet. <laughs> Whoops. All right. His strength roll is not great, guys. I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you. He's, but he's a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, he gets he gets some extra strength from being in his werewolf form, but not all werewolves get it. His his base role is only two for this. <laughs> yes, all werewolves. Yes, all werewolves. <laughs> the guru helps a lot. Uh wow, he gets two zeros. So those are real. Whoa. Whoa. That's, whoa! whoa! That's four four zeros in addition <laughs> to two other successes. That's oh, oh my god! Oh my lord! <laughs> That's an exceptional success. Fucking right. up! Oh, William. Charlie! God, we're adopting this kid. <laughs> so William, uh, in a fire of of independence and rage, he grapples Charlie, and uh, Charlie is due to being blinded. I'm gonna say Charlie's not able to fight the grapple. He is stuck in it until William lets him go. Can we yes. call this a wear hug? <clears throat> Um, a big ol' werehug? Well, they're they're both raging, so I'm not sure if that's the right word. <laughs> that means it's a fuzzy werehug. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would call it more of a rage hug. Um, anyway, so is that like a rage boner? <laughs> Which uh, makes it Mason's turn. Okay, um, I want to uh, shoot at one of the boxes or the bag. The, the bag is on the ground. The boxes are still in the thing. Okay. Don't worry about the boxes. Okay, I want to shoot. I want to. F- Put a hole in the bag. Okay. With my bow. So, yeah, I guess roll the hit. Okay. Um, roll your <laughs> dex weaponry. Okay, and then reloading is a strength-based roll. Yes. The dex weaponry. Mm. Also, quick question. When does sunlight and stuff start to apply? Uh, I, I am going to give you all 15 rounds before the sun is down, because when we last left off, you guys had about 30 minutes before sunset. Oh, I, I, I was had an hour. You spent 30 minutes in the, uh, scouting the place. Oh no, you had an hour. So yeah, anyway, you don't need to worry about it. Okay. The likelihood of the sun going down in this fight is very low. It is Two. low. Yeah. Two? Two successes. 15 rounds. All right, okay. you hit the box. Good job. The bag. Or the bag. Yeah. Oh, the bag. Okay. Yeah. I, I was going to aim at the boxes, but the bag is easier to get to. So. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it's good, because the boxes are also larger. There's yeah. a good chance you wouldn't hit. I would roll a percentile for that. But since you're hitting the bag, that's a lot smaller. Um, what's your damage? Um, I don't actually know. Uh, two damage is the dice mod. Two. Do you know what kind? Uh, if it's a bow, it's probably lethal. lethal. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say lethal. So that's two lethal to the bag. It's like a green arrow punching uh, punching glove at the end of the arrow, so that makes it bashing damage. <laughs> I, I, I want to know if... Is that a thing that happens in green arrow? Yes. What That's happen- stupid. Yeah. What, hap- what happens? Does it look like I hit something, or is the bag empty, or... 
Is well, I wish I thought of that. No, no, you hit something. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really smart of me, but no, the, the bag the has... Bag, the bag's empty. Good. The bag contains oh, something. bullshit. A bat just flies out. You're, you're lucky I'd... that I'm not a better improvist, because I would have been like, oh, shit, yeah, the bag's empty. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Yes, Sam! You guys are being ambushed. All right, yeah, no. But no, I'm going to play this legit. No, you hit something. Cool. It, it's like hitting an archery target. You cannot see, but it clearly is stuck in oh. the bag. Pro tip, don't give the GM ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, maybe I will just roll with that. All right, so the That's next okay. one we'll resolve this in one game. Is Vic. All right. Uh, seeing that, uh, seeing that the Charlie the Vampire, right? Mm-hmm. Is it uh, nope. is being like super grappled <coughs> by the werewolf. werewolf? Oh, okay. And uh, sorry, the werewolves, uh, the vampires are in the bag and boxes, right? So, but the werewolf has control of one of the uh, uh, has grappled one of the. Yes, vampires. your friendly werewolf no. is grappling your mind control werewolf. Gotcha. Okay, I was confused. No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so good. I'm glad we cleared that. Okay, uh, then in that case, uh, I want. It should be the smile of the wand, I believe, vampire in the bag. <laughs> I want I want Vic to just like s- just start rage pumping the, this super soaker, <laughs> and and I know that this is an audio format, so yeah, I'm making the hand motion, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just want him to just do like this absolute spray and pray over all the vampires. Okay, the boxes and the bag are now wet. <laughs> it's not even gonna make you holy water. Well, it's not, it's like it's hard to hit. It's a super soaker, <laughs> and he's not aiming for one. He's like. Brain praying. So, yeah. yeah, I don't see how that's a role. I am 100% not sold on this whole world. <laughs> <one. laughs> uh, neither am I. Yeah. Also, Garrett, real quick question. Does Vic go say hello to my little friend before he does oh, it? Oh, God. No, he's, uh, he's, he says something something like suppressing fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, no, let's go with that. So that makes it Wolf's turn. <laughs> okay, so... Um, because of last session, I ended up with the conditions terrified, shaken, and afraid of Charlie. Yes. Of Charlie. Yes, right. Charlie. Um, I was wondering, could I burn a willpower to clear a condition? Um, yeah, and in fact, because Charlie is clearly being suppressed, he's not as much of a threat to you, I'll let you clear two for that willpower. Oh, cool. All right. So I'm going to burn a willpower, bringing me down to two out of four, and I'm going to go ahead and clear uh, shaken and afraid. I'm still fucking terrified. Well, I think that's a sign of good mental health that you're terrified in this situation. Yeah, well, and you're not naked, so at least you're not on that other show. <laughs> <laughs> the good old naked and terrified. No, it's totally canon now that Wolf auditioned for that show. <laughs> it is. You actually did tell me that. Uh, when we were doing character I like free. the idea of an off-brand, like, naked and terrified show. All right, so uh, Wolf, spends, <laughs> Wolf spends the turn going, get it together, get it together. And then we're back up to Charlie's turn. Charlie cannot fight back, so we're just going to skip him Close and go straight to JD. She's <laughs> actually very boring. <laughs> okay, so seeing that he's pretty restrained, I'm not as worried about him anymore, and I want to start helping with the vampires, and so I'm going to go over to the bag and just take the machete and go right down into the bag. Okay. Roll <laughs> your strength weaponry. Make sure you get some of the holy water in there. Zero. Oof. I worked very hard on that. So you uh, no very ones, but zero. enthusiastically <laughs> raise up your machete and hit the ground. Seven dice, zero. Great <laughs> job. Or actually, no, you stab the bag, but you don't hit anything inside. You okay. feel it clearly go straight through the fabric. That's a little less pathetic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. <clears throat> there was no ones, but and zero so f- then from the the ripped hair in the bag <laughs> below you, a hand or a couple of fingers reach out and rip it straight, rip the c- cloth open, and uh, Emilio, the blind vampire, uh, steps out and tries to grapple you. It's his turn. He just woke up and do he I rolled do anything, eleven. Or is it just... I worked very hard to spray <clears throat> holy water all over the place. Does this affect the situation? Not that you can tell. Damn. Well, he's going to step into the sunlight, so if that doesn't do anything either, then why the fuck do they only come out at night? I just worked really hard on that sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, sun, a lot it's a... of magic. There's, there's a lesson to be learned here. I promise. 
So, yeah, right. Talk, talk to Charlie, the guy who won't tell you anything. Strength roll. See, the lesson here is, hey, everybody roll up new characters. <laughs> yeah. You all are so dramatic. <laughs> Can I, I'm right. not one of these people. They're all like, we're dead already. We've already died. So he does manage to grapple you, JD, uh, but that's all he can do this turn. And then that makes it Darla's turn. Uh, I would like to tase a vampire. All right. Um, that's Dex weaponry. I'm going to use a willpower because this roll sucks. Okay. <laughs> What were you using before, like strength brawl? I think it was yeah, something like strength brawl, which I'm sad for. Yeah. Are you but you? but dexterity weaponry, I only have like two points. I'm like sorry, it's, it's straight from the book. How, how does how does putting a willpower into a taser attack manifest? I just hit him real <laughs> hard. You're trying harder. It yeah. means she lets out a primal yell while she does it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> God was damn that it! Uh, oh, oh, wow. That sucks. Wow, that is a pool Barf. of it's a pool of seven dice, I think, and five five dice and nothing. Uh, and there was a one in there. Yeah, I have a critical failure. Critical failure. Oh man. Well, I'm sorry to say that I fall over. No, that as you go to hit the vampire, you inadvertently <laughs> slip and you hit William with the taser. Wait, Ooh. wait, William's over by Charlie. Yeah. Charlie is right in front. He's pulled, JD pulled the bag out from the cargo, and the two werewolves are directly in front of that opening. Okay. So, uh, yes, let me have, let me check the rules here. I'm just going to eat my silly putty out of stress. I cool with everyone? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna get yeah. um, I don't want to know what that does to your So it then. does one lethal to William. No! Not William. But it does not incapacitate him. Not okay. Billy. Billy. Hey, Billy. And that makes it. I might want to say something. Oh, it's like, William's turn. Sorry. <laughs> Good timing. Shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> For what it's worth, he doesn't seem overly bothered by it. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> I mean, one lethal to a fully transformed werewolf is like nothing. It's not a big deal, but. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Only aggro damage can kill me. I mean woof. I mean woof. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I mean woof. It does surprise him though, so I'm gonna make him roll his grapple again just to see if he maintains. Uh-oh. He does. Oh, thank he only God. needed one success. Oh thank God. He already made an exceptional success. I just it was just a concentration check. Cool. So he's gonna use his turn. <laughs> I would have felt so bad. To keep holding, <laughs> and then it will be Mason's turn. Okay. Um, I would like to reload. Mhm. Uh, what are you gonna make me strength? Whatever. Uh, strength weaponry. Cool. We'll call it that. Uh, wow, really? Is that a six? That's a six. That's, that's no successes. That's no successes. Yep. Fuck me. Uh, so you try to load your arrow, and uh, you just the, kind of fumble the, the string on the mechanism, and you have to start over again. Uh, can I spend the other half of my action? Yes, you can. I'm trying again. again. And I won't be able to shoot this turn. Correct. Well, rather, you can use your move action to try again. Is that a six again? Yeah, that's a six again. I failed twice in a row. Oh my god. I, just, well, you I know, probably just need one success, honestly. Performance anxiety, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> I just can't I just can't string my arrow. It's happening to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> that brings us around to Vic. All right. Uh, Vic okay. feeling satisfied with the holy water situation. Uh, wants to uh, in his offhand holding the taser, wants to charge in and uh, go for one of the vampires. Probably the... Uh, you only see one only right one. now. Yeah. And he is grappling JD, so that's probably a great idea. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. All right. Uh, it's what? Dex no? weapon. Dex weapon. Don't grab fail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Okay, so uh, I have to take one of the dice away because I have nothing in weaponry. Oh, yikes. Vic is Untrained. not statted for combat. Untrained. Let's see how lucky you get. Ah, failure. Not at all. It's a failure, but not a critical failure. So JD yeah, is fine. <laughs> so you just don't chase me, bro. <laughs> so he just he just kind of like runs up and it's just like clap 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 clap. Emilio, unfortunately, like unfortunately, Emilio is facing you. He does see you coming and he just pulls both him and JD <laughs> out of the way and you just miss him. Yeah. We're not putting on a good show, lads. <laughs> Maybe. No, well, hey, you're not. We are. We we're, are. We're mostly which just kind of just yeah. comedy of errors yeah. at this point. Yeah. We are. Uh, we need like a wacky humans. soundtrack. Can I? <laughs> can I do a? 
<laughs> Would unseen sense give me any sort of measure of oh, how yeah. they're handling this sunlight and the, the holy water and the electricity? Well, they're not getting hit with no, electricity. No, it really just tells you what kind of creatures are in the vicinity. Okay, because they seem perfectly fine with the sunlight so far. Nothing has happened. Uh, so, so Stephen, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. So, Charlie's grappled by William, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. We got a uh, vampire. I'm just going to call him Vampire A. They're vampires. They don't get names. <laughs> vampires aren't people. Uh, he is out of this bag, doused in holy water, and uh, grappled by JD, right? Yep. Well, grappling JD. grappling JD. JD is not in a good situation right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to burn a willpower, and I'm going to punch the vampire in the face. Okay. Strength... Oh, I'm just happy we get any successes at all at this point. Any successes is God. Um, all right, and what's your strength? Your base strength? Dos. Two? All right, so uh, you, you managed to nail him square in the face. He takes two bashing from your punch. Okay. And I think that's enough to break his grapple. Or actually, JD. Get off him! Yeah, we'll call that a, a broken grapple. I'm not sure what the ruling is on that, but it sounds real. Uh... <laughs> Is the sun seeming to do any actual damage right now? Or is it mostly doing, like, status effects? Um, well, it's, uh, Charlie's gonna continue being helpless, which makes it Emilio's turn, which makes it the first time you see the damage yeah. of the sun. Yes! Okay. And it's his first full turn in the sun, and so he will take nothing yet. Oh. So, yeah, as far as it's you all can tell... Time, I think. As far as you can tell, the sun is not doing anything to him. Okay. Well, we need to get all these boxes open immediately then, so they can start mm. oh, yeah. receiving uh, some. Or we can deal with one vampire at a time. Yeah, that sounds like the better plan. Mm. But we're in a battle, so if that's what Mason's thinking, then there's yeah. certainly yeah. no reason to stop well, him doing it. I would have to run in in there, so... So, um... Might not. On Amelia's turn, he's going to try and... I guess he'll just try, since the grapple didn't work out for him, there's way too many people around for him to actually accomplish anything with that. I think he is just going to try and brawl JD, <laughs> nearest nearest target. So. Hey. Hey. Does All my right. defense do anything? Uh, yes, your defense will take away two successes. Well, two dice from the pool. I got three. Three? Defense. All right, defense, so he does... He does land uh, a slashing hit, uh, but it does not penetrate your tactical vest, and you don't take any damage. Yes. Nice. <laughs> vest and for the win. That makes it your turn to retaliate, JD. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slash him. Okay. He has a defense of two, so you'll take two dice away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn a willpower, too, though. Cool. Better. One, two, three... Four. Uh oh. Five. Whoa, Whoa that's Whoa. an exceptional success. Five. Fuck yeah! Yeah! Nice. Stab him in the horn. Better. Better. Just Her. Up so better. better. <laughs> We're working both ends of the spectrum now. It's either <laughs> everything or nothing. <laughs> Emilio's the. He's a blonde guy. The dude. Okay. Yeah. All right, Emilio is bloody. He looks check. pretty Probably. rough. Um. Is telling him. Uh, well, Darla's gonna say, fuck it, and throw a taser down, uh, and then punch the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> All this finesse is for... Uh, what a great, for great moment. All this finesse for them Yankees. Oh, that's one. They're objectively not Yankees. So that would be one success. One success. All right, you hit, but you do not do well, damage. Well, the vampires aren't, but the people Does who not... use finesse are. You, you punch him, uh, and you hit him pretty solid, but he doesn't seem very phased by it. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> and uh, next in the order is, oh, William. So William's going to keep holding. As, as far as he knows, this is his job. This is why you all brought him here, so he's going to keep going. 
Uh, Mason's turn. He did it simply, and yeah, we brought him to help. He's got okay, on to he's doing a great job. <coughs> Try and get a single success on four dice. And Charlie still two, has his wrist bound low. and is still currently blind. Okay, I got, I got two successes, so I strung my bow. I want to attack uh, Claudio again. Go ahead. Whatever his name is. Emilio. 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 We don't actually know no, his Claudio. name. Yeah. You all don't actually know his <laughs> name. We don't actually know his name, but his name is Amelia. For the Claudio. sake of combat, it's just so much easier to give them names. Ooh, better. Okay, three. Uh, does he look like Emilio Estevez? Mm-hmm. Three. Uh, Blondie McBlondis. I don't think so. <laughs> three successes. Three su- successes. Okay. And you're aiming at him. Yeah. All right, so you you hit him. You hit him real good. You do two lethal. Yeah. Could you could you imagine though Emilio Estevez in a vampire role? I don't ever, I don't actually know who that is. Gordon Bombay from the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Charlie Sheen's brother. That's a that's a deep cut. God, yeah. I don't know. You guys have never seen the Mighty Ducks. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't remember. Uh, what, not since like 1998. Coach, Coach Bombay, the like the main character. Now, just so that you know, John, uh, with the with the crossbow, yeah. it is possible to stake a vampire yeah. in the heart. I gotta get a girl. However, you have to get uh, through their defense, and you take a minus three penalty on the attack roll yeah. to actually hit the heart. Yeah, so I, I don't have yeah. the dice to do that right now. <laughs> so I would right now you're get, just hitting him. I'd have like one dice roll five zeros in a row or some shit. But I just wanted to let people know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you hit him. Uh, he's looking really, really rough right now, but he is still up. And that makes it Vic's turn. <laughs> Uh, Throw me your bow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we can, the just, I'm sure. I'm sure that goes away if we can pin them in place. But <laughs> can I make an argument for something? Okay. Uh, what is a taser really? It is. It is pretty much. <laughs> it is pretty much just like a box that you hold and then thrust forward. <laughs> you know, like you would a punch. So. <laughs> <laughs> Could I apply my brawl roll if I'm sort of like punching with? I swear the to God, Buckle, if you allow this, I'm gonna no. be so mad. If I'm doing a taser if punch, if I'm doing like a taser <laughs> punch, <laughs> yes. how's it feel? How's it feel? You know, actually, I'm gonna say this so it feels great. No, Garrett, you cannot do that. <laughs> okay, it, it is <laughs> very clearly. Get ready for another round of ineffectual play. <laughs> Here it's, I go. It's don't very clearly written. Get book ready. That one. Don't roll one, don't roll one. And <laughs> another three. <laughs> That's two threes in a row. I was like, Buckle, if you allow him to do this, you're going to do sleep it, outside. If it's, one if more it's turn, a roll, and you'll have that nine. <laughs> If it's if it's uh, something that's not clearly stated in the book, or if it's something we homebrew, then I'll be persuadable. But that was I literally saw it in the book exactly, very yeah. detailed how I, it all works. So I just can't. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. So you miss. It's nothing spectacular. You you just you're just your hands are a little sweaty, mom spaghetti, you know. <laughs> 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 and it doesn't quite land. Uh, it's Wolf's turn. Okay. Now I do have. A slight argument, <laughs> not not as much as Garrett's. <laughs> Holy shit! This is a debate club. Is this assisting in my? Taser okay, punch Deanna, story? Deanna, no, no, no. Everyone, everyone, stop. Deanna, do you really think you have any room to lecture? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Miss, can I use larceny to throw a rock at someone? <laughs> <laughs> Miss, can I shoot a gun with my larceny stat? Do you really think you get to lecture? anyone ever in regards to this? Right. Ever. That's unrelated. This game. is an unrelated <laughs> that's a scenario? Non, that, is a, that is a non sequitur, sir. So, I, I think you can't bring in outside a material to debate club. It is literally the prequel. <laughs> or the predecessor. All right, right. Here's my argument. Wolf is canonically a big guy. I would like to... Can I get... Can I just use strength and brawl to, like, tackle someone? You can always use strength and brawl yeah. to tackle someone. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, great. That seems like this guy keeps going after JD. I'm going to go after him. <laughs> Isn't he still like laying down the bag or did he stand up? No, he's standing in the bag. Okay. Like if he's he that or athletics. <laughs> now, now, we all know Wolf does not have athletics. <laughs> oh, shit, actually, he does. <laughs> he does yoga every morning. I got one success. Hey, that's good enough. You hit him. Woo! I mean, it's it's, as you're saying, it's not really a hard target to hit. You know? No. All right, so Wolf is just going to throw himself on Emilio Estevez's vampire. Just try to buy JD some time to do something else. All right. Uh, you knock him to the ground. You do one bashing. Um, and that's it. I'm doing my best to come Fat up. Fat guy strength. Hoo-ha! 
I, that's fantastic. As you're laying on top of a bloodied vampire in a pool of holy water. <laughs> that guy's straight. So Hoo-ah. question, does the holy roll water look like he's doing off. anything? Not that you can tell, no. <laughs> we, we went to a church for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just turned everything into mud wrestling. <laughs> drop, the, drop the square guns. Well, okay, anything. it's... Not... I will buy anyone, like... A free meal at five guys, so they draw Wolf and Emilio Estevez vampire mud wrestling. <laughs> well, no. um, n- none of you have managed to hit with the taser yet, but presumably the water would help with that, like any water would. <laughs> oh, I didn't even have to argue for that. It's great. <laughs> uh, I don't so... have weaponry, I have firearms. <laughs> I'm the only one. So everybody weaponry. needs to toss JD the tasers so we can kill <laughs> shit for us. So it's back to Emilio's turn. He's hurting. Mm-hmm. He is stuck under an immovable object. <laughs> <laughs> but Rude. that was my nickname in college. <laughs> but immovable object. The immovable object. <laughs> uh, but that immovable object has also really conveniently put his neck right next to Emilio's face. So he's gonna. Oh fuck! He's gonna bite you. The boulder is conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that your boulder voice sounds like Zoya to destroy you. <laughs> He's got gotcha. you. Oh, oh, no. So he's going to bite, and he is going to feed on you for uh, one lethal. How many of those, how many oh. times does that have to happen before you go full vampire? A lot. Okay. I'm pretty sure it has That's to be a conscious good. thing. Like, the vampire has to be wanting to turn you. Okay. Um, in order for you to become a vampire. Okay. Yeah. But they can certainly have a bunch of snacks first. It's apparently a whole process. And that is the end of Emilio's turn, which makes it JD's turn. Not that we know that. <laughs> um, I'm going to slash the vampire biting the big guy. Okay. <laughs> you should probably do that. I'm going to burn another willpower, too. All right. You score a solid hit on the vampire. It's a little tricky because uh, you might just chop your friend, but you succeed. Hooray. And you deal, what, two lethal? Is that? There's three successes. I don't know what that means. Uh, it doesn't change the damage. <laughs> yeah, that just know. determines the hit. I think I'm pretty sure the machete does two lethal. So yeah, you deal two lethal. And the vampire collapses. Aha! <laughs> Can't suck your blood if he's unconscious. It's little bastard. Okay. All right. That makes it Darla's turn. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, okay, so what you, by collapse you mean is he unconscious? Yes, he is. He looks dead to all of you. Shit, did we do it? <laughs> oh my god, I think he's dead. Is the sun yeah. doing anything to him yet? I guess that's be his turn. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll wait until, yeah, my turn. <laughs> uh, uh, um, but holy shit, he's probably undead, so maybe we, do we need to tie him up? Uh, 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 can I speak when it's not my turn? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're pausing combat right here. You guys can talk. I'll deal with that. Get the box open. With what? My hands? Like, is it like a is it like a shipping box? Yeah, it's a big wooden crate that's stapled I mean, shut. JG, JG, give me your crowbar. Are you kidding me? We bar. need to start curb stomping this thing immediately. Okay, I, if we're not in combat, I'm going to walk up to it, draw an arrow, and put an arrow through its heart. And just leave it there. All right. It's not moving. Yeah, I mean, nothing... Nothing else is attacking, so yeah, I, I suppose you all can get free actions until something else is there to fight you. Just, uh, Vic sees the head and is just, and just like, well, that'll work. Roll, is Charlie you're gonna have to, doing anything? You're going to have to roll for it. Okay. I don't, I, I don't want to ask, but is Charlie doing anything? Yeah, I mean, he's struggling against okay. William. He's still in a rage, but he can't get out of yeah, William's I, exceptional I, yeah. grasp. I, I can... I can stake this thing while you guys are getting the box open, and we'll start okay, on the so next one. We'll pull the box out, the next yeah. box. There's two boxes, and so I don't know which one huh? is in which box. The, pull the arrow back. Do you care? I assume it might take a minute. Okay. Just tell me how many times it gets okay. you to, to draw it so that we know time-wise how long it takes. Okay, two. All right. And then... Mm, then I don't know if you want me to roll damage or not, but two. All right, you hit him, but you don't hit his heart. You need five successes. He's not moving. You need five successes. Them's the rules. <laughs> Maybe give him a plus one. Yeah, he's not. Just keep going, guys. I'm just okay. sitting here fumbling with All the right. moving so while he's trying to find the heart, uh, Wolf's going to 
join JD with the boxes. You're gonna drag them out. All right. Let me know when you when you prime open. There you go. Five I mean, successes. Yeah, we're gonna... uh, All right. Okay. Uh, we're looking to make it for a thumbs up. We're gonna we're gonna four attempts. Well, we're gonna pour pull the box out and then we're just gonna pry it open. While we're prying it over, I, I think uh, Darla's gonna go. Jesus Christ! I just wanted to be on TV. <laughs> 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 all right. So you all get it open. I'm also I'm, a, I'm also gonna go to Vane and I'm gonna take his taser. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna snatch it from his hand. Give me that. Uh, Darla's is literally. I was using that. Mine is literally, literally on the ground. Yeah, on the floor. Dude, I feel like dude, I feel like no, I feel like Fix up is as likely to tase me as he is anything else. Came off of close a He's couple good. times. As they're walking over to to open up the box, he just like sprays him in the back with the with the holy water. No, it looks like you pooped yourself. So there you go. Yeah. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> All right. So it takes John six turns to stake the vampire, which is about two minutes. Or a minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, I'm gonna say it takes about that long for you all to get the get the box open. Sure. And uh, so when you open it, time for me to make a fun roll. This isn't a roll. <laughs> this is the roll you don't get to make very often. This is an elder vampire trying to force himself out of sleep. <laughs> it, it is a roll. Uh oh. It is actually a roll. He succeeds. Uh-oh. Damn it. Barely. Oh. Barely. So you're all standing over a wooden go. crate full of very old, very gaunt, stretched skin, dry, uh, dry looking eyes, vampires, lids flip open, and uh, he snarls and uh, climbs out of the box. Let me roll his initiative. Shit, dick in a box. <laughs> 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 Don't get too relieved. You're all at seven, all right? <laughs> uh, his initiative is also seven. <laughs> but I think I think his dex is higher than you guys. Yeah. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Dig right. in a box, babe. So that makes it his action. Hmm. This is tough. <sighs> yeah, he's going to roll to possess JD. He wants it so bad. Well, it's, yeah. it's a familiar vessel. It's an easier thing. <laughs> Willpower? I assume resolve composure? Yes, resolve composure. Two. Two. He got two <laughs> out of a dice pool of eight. Ooh. And the defender wins. And the defender yeah. wins. <laughs> so he does not succeed not in... This time, you bubble. <laughs> Possessing you. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Mason, it is your turn. Um, well, uh, I suppose I have not reloaded for free because that would be bullshit. So, uh, two successes on reload. I want to shoot at Mr. Elder Vampire. Uh, one success. So. You have a Legolas quiver. Yes, you hit him. Okay. Yay! One lethal. Legolas quiver. Doesn't matter. Uh, that makes it Vic's turn. Okay. Uh, can I? There, there's two things I want to do. Okay. So I want to, I want to propose. Uh, I, I, what I want to do is like, just chuck the super soaker at the vampire. Okay. And then what? And then when he get, does the whole like flinching, 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 like, eh, then, then he wants to run up and clinch strike him. I mean, you're going on the assumption that the vampire is going to to react. Uh, I'd, I'd like to remind everybody we do still have a gallon water jug of presumably holy water. I don't think that's doing shit. I don't think it's they doing shit either. Anything. I'm just making sure that's you why, know. That's why I'd rather throw a squirt gun than use holy water. Okay. So can I? So if the whole, regardless of if the flinch is successful, can I still chuck it at him and then run up and do a clinch strike? You certainly can. Okie doke. <laughs> So, what do I need to roll to throw a super soaker at an elder vampire? Um, resolve weaponry? Resolve weaponry. So, <laughs> it's, I, it's probably similar to a throwing knife, just really large and Eight. blunt. One success! Yeah. One success! Yes! Yay. One one die, one success! Yes! Do you, do you have any words to say for him as you do this? Hey, Edward! Get dunked on! 
<laughs> and it beans him right in the head. <laughs> and he runs up Talk. and he runs up and he's going to go in for the clinch strike, so that's a grapple check first. Yes, it's a grapple check. Does he do, is there a reaction at all? I must know. He he blinks really <laughs> noticeably. So it just kinda like clunks off of him, he's like <laughs> Yes, it's 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 exactly audible <laughs> blink sound. <laughs> it's the blink you remember from gym class when someone gets beamed. You're just like, what blink, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for a grapple, what is that? That is brawl. Uh, strength brawl. Strength brawl. Okie dokie. Where's my, where's my brawl check? There we go. You're statted for strength brawl. Look at you. I am. Uh, two successes. Yeah. All right, you yeah. got him. All right. Now I've now I've got this vampire grappled. You guys better put that to good use. So it's a wolf's turn. Okay, it's so my turn to try to taser somebody while you're in a grapple with somebody else. <laughs> just to just to recap, uh, elder vampire grappled by Vic, uh, JD not possessed? Question mark. Not possessed. No, he's not possessed. Okay, uh, running low on arrows, and just wanted to be on TV. How do I get in this mess? <laughs> Correct. You you have summed up the situation. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> this is for Steven. <laughs> Uh, okay. Fuck. Uh, well, it's not really... None of us are staffed for combat, and that's very bad. <laughs> um, especially for hunters. <laughs> well, I thought so I was. JD is. So he can fight things. I mean, my, my, my brawl is pretty good. I, my okay, brawl is okay, good. I got it. I, I got what I'd like to do. I, this thing's grappled? Yes. I'm gonna take the back of my super soaker, because... We were idiots, and by the way, we are missing out on a great marketing opportunity here. We could have like gotten a deal with someone for this. <laughs> Holy <laughs> water super soakers, just saying. Product <laughs> placement. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm just gonna smash into yeah. the vampire's face. Go for it. Basic attack roll. All right, roll. Well, all right. <laughs> in the teeth. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's like a pistol whip, but it's a super soaker. Smashes yeah. the vampire teeth out. Strength brawl. Uh, do I get any bonuses for the weapon? Or you will not have to get through his defense because he is grappled. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and burn a willpower for this one. Alrighty. I love I love Wolf. He's such a spirited fighter. He just dumps <laughs> all his willpower like as soon as he can. Five, five fucking successes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, got, I got my app open. Look at this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. Good job. <laughs> that is an exceptional punch to the face with a super soaker. Super soaker. So I'm gonna say that you ram the super soaker into his face, and when you do, you do it with such passion and strength that it actually dislodges the the holy water container. It dumps it all over him, and it actually gets in his eyes, and he won't be able to uh, see very well next round. He'll take minuses. Oh, He'll take minuses hand, to anything that requires accuracy. It's not completely useless. Yeah, It's an exceptional success. I gotta, hey. I gotta do something. Yeah. Are you talking about wolf or the holy, the holy water? The holy water. I'm definitely talking okay. about the holy water. I mean, it, it would have been the same for any water, mm, but... Cool. <laughs> Uh, so that yeah, makes it... Yeah. Just to blink it out. Right. Oh, hey. Charlie isn't blind anymore. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charlie. Charlie. We're on a bridge, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Rolling to break <laughs> grapple. Charlie. Going to Candy Mountain. He... Shut an unbeliever, Charlie. That is unbelievable. William gets no successes. <gasps> Charlie gets one. In the yeah. battle of the wimpy werewolves, <laughs> Charlie wins, and Charlie does get free of his grapple. <laughs> Took him long enough. I want to. I want to remind his uh, his his wrists are still bound. So. Yeah. This is true, and he's yeah. going to spend the other part of his turn trying to break the, the chains again. Okay. It's really not very impressive strength. Wow, that's no successes. Out of wow. six we are dice. all rolling so bad today. <laughs> it, goes, it goes from bad to real good. Like, <laughs> no in between. So Charlie is still bound in chains. It we've is... We've had, like, as many exceptional successes as we've had, like, normal successes. Yeah. Uh, Amelia. Mm, that's me. probably true, actually. <laughs> Check. It's not. Oh, oh, I, I, I saw that. Two that was close. a one. This is hey. why I need... Oh, hey. the death glare. The death I, glare. I don't I don't use a DM screen, hey. all right? You, don't take advantage. If you don't yeah. want me to see, use a DM screen. I don't like DM screens. Fine. Um, That's your choice. So, JD, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to tase dickhead. Okay. Two. Two. All right, you hit him. You deal two lethal instead of one because he's wet. 
<laughs> so water might be useful regardless. <laughs> if and we... that makes it Darla's turn. So uh... what, what, what exactly is the advantage of the taser? It just a vampire. It hurts vampires. Okay. So if I were to uh, kick this vampire in the balls, would that be a brawl roll? Yes, yes. absolutely. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I I have a demand. I have a demand though. If you succeed. What is that demand? You have to say the va- oh god, Dracula's got nards <laughs> in a southern accent. <laughs> What? Why? Why would I ever no, no, no. say you that? Monster you Club. You, you guys don't know about Monster, Monster Squad. You got reason. Monster Squad. You guys have not seen Monster, Monster Squad. Squad. What the I, fuck is I, Monster, I Monster Squad? I demand you don't. We're showing you guys Monster I Squad. I demand that you don't yeah, say I, that. I'm in on it too. We got two to no, one. No, you guys do not understand. It's a classic. I don't, I don't care. It's a classic. It's a classic. Dracula calls a three-year-old a bitch. It's hilarious. Uh, one success. No. That's, no, no, no. That's, 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 that's pretty zero. good compared to what we've been doing. <laughs> that's, that's a, a hit, zero. That's a hit. No, I didn't roll that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. You deal one bashing and he, 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 he hisses in the unique pain of a man hitting the net. All right, Stephen, <laughs> what was that? What am I supposed to say? No, don't. don't. <laughs> Next Not turn. No, 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 no. I'm being outvoted. I'm being outvoted. My demands I have my vote. are null and my vote. Deanna, and Deanna has her free now will, so we move on. Think character might say. Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I like how you both said no, don't at the same time. You can go kick his balls. You're you're there already. Um, Let's just kill him by kicking him in the balls. Kick <laughs> <laughs> him in the balls to death. Yes, our, 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 our cell him, will go to the, the Great ball. Hunter Convention and tell them, yeah, dude, turns out the weak part of vampires is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last vampire is female, so it can't be our, like... No, she's dead. No. The, yeah, but she's like... Well, we don't know a whole lot about her. Was like a quarter of her brain missing or some shit? No, he, the vampire dies, goes to hell, and they're like, how did you die? <laughs> <laughs> they were kicking me in the balls, and then they just did not stop. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really great, because that would take an incredibly long time. <laughs> There's like two people holding him by. There's, there's like just two werewolves. Like we get Charlie free, and there's two werewolves holding him guys, down. You would have to stack up to aggravate a damage on all of the shots, <laughs> and then after one bashing he, at a time, stack it, would, up it would be like yeah, three hours normal. of ball kicking. And then after he went into torpor, you'd have to hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy it's just like shit. a solid hour of ball kicking. <laughs> Just everyone in a line. So, uh, We're not gonna make our William uh, manages to grapple Charlie again. Woo! Yay! Yay! And uh, the old, oldest vampire that you are all kicking in the nads, <laughs> you all notice, uh, at first it was not apparent, but after the passage of a few seconds <laughs> over the course of your combat, his skin has started to redden and bubble and burn Ooh. and slough off his skin. <gasps> yes. Nice. Hey, it's me on the fourth. As he takes four <laughs> aggravated. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. We're, we're missing the obvious joke here is we're in a can-can line. We're <laughs> 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 <We're> just moving. <laughs> <laughs> nuts, nuts, nuts. <laughs> 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 Uh, so that makes <laughs> that that brings us to Mason's turn. No, it's no, it's no, it's no. Oh my god! Re- <laughs> reloading my bow. <laughs> Shoot him in the balls! <laughs> and Wait, he did it. Hey. Hey. Can I try and sh- snap Charlie out of it by yelling at him? Snap you know, out of it. I just be like, Charlie, wake the fuck up or something. Sure. Do you mind? All right. Yeah. Um, let's see. What would I? Do? If we get Charlie. Although I, I will tell you that. I mean, as as Charlie's friend and, and a sort of authority on vamp- on a werewolves, you know that that he's very impervious to social interaction in this form. I, I'm just I'm just giving you a freebie here, just because you really should you ought to know that when werewolves are fully transformed, they don't really respond to social interaction. I'm gonna shoot the vampire. <laughs> All right. Just you know, sportsmanship. Uh oh. That oh, that's a one. Is no. a critical fail. Oh no! Who's gonna get it? Who's oh, gonna get it? Not in the face! Not in the face! Not in the face! Who's grappling 
He's grappling the, the you, you You say that as you're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> you know just, damn well who's grappling the I just want to make sure I'm right. The, you're, the yeah, thick is yeah, grappling right. the thick vampire. Not in the so face, not in the face. You know, it's unfortunate. It's really, really not something that's happened to you a lot, Mason. You're generally a pretty good shot. <laughs> But it's chaotic. Yeah. Everyone's getting into the rhythm of hitting him in the balls. And everyone's getting excited. <laughs> and you just lose focus just for a minute. And you nail your friend right in the shoulder. Oh. Garrett, take one lethal. It's, uh, it's not the face. It's not the face. It's not the face, but it's the shoulder. It's I not need that too. Face. At least it's like not the Look face. on the bright side. Look on the face, not the face. It's going to look a really ah. fucking cool scar. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't the Yeah, I, I think... More than us. Oh, I think a hit in the face would have to be more than two. It'd be career-ending. Oh, it would, that that right there is just like, we get back from... <laughs> Vic literally explodes on this No, people show up in Kansas City, it's like, what happened to Vic? Well, <laughs> got in a bar fight. Got in a I bar don't think fight. you'd make it to Kansas City if you That's had like hospital territory. Yeah. Uh, so that, that brings us to Wolf's turn. Okay, uh... Did Vic lose his grapple on the vampire? I'm going to say yeah. He just got shot in the shoulder. That's fair. It's just, uh, he probably like staggers <laughs> back. He the same thing like, the other way around. Wait, doesn't he have to roll, roll, roll your dice. You get one for your grapple, right? Okay. Or how much do you get for your grapple? It's like four. <laughs> do I still test it? Do it. Let's, sure. Let, I mean... I, I've success, treated, but I, I I've treated know. yeah I've treated yeah. other grapples like yeah. they're interrupted by yeah. damage. So. Okay. okay, right. That all right. That's what happened. No, I, don't, I that's no, that makes sense to me. I'll look Fair it up. Enough. I'll look Fair it up enough. this week. But for right now, we'll treat that as sure. A no, I'd, I'd fully allow it because I don't think Vic has a history of being shot with a bow and arrow. No, <laughs> it might make more sense. Yeah, if it's like a seasoned war vet or something. Yeah. Exactly. Fair enough. He probably just got just get hits. We're working on staggers back. Looks down. It's like. What's oh back up? Is like what the you fuck? shot me <laughs> with a bow and arrow. <laughs> shot okay, so with Vic, thanks Hawkeye. You know, Kurt, Vic's currently going through the motions of oh god, I've been shot for the first time. Uh, Wolf's got to get that look of this is a terrible idea, and he's gonna grapple the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, strength brawl. Fuck, 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 fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. You rolled, up, you rolled five successes has, last time you did this. I don't think he this. has much willpower Didn't you? left. <laughs> or was that a different... I don't have much willpower left. Oh. My strength brawl is not great. No. I've just been rolling with willpower. <laughs> God, you had a lot, though. I'm, I've only got two left, and I used three earlier. Last time. <laughs> three successes. Oh, three oh, successes. Oh, I don't know no. how I pulled that off of three somebody's dice. rolling like... Yeah, <laughs> thank God somebody is. Wolf is your what hero up? today, what people. Up? As he... As soon as Vic lets go, <laughs> he slides, all right, right in. He grabs that vampire, and although the vampire is stronger than him, taller than him, older than him, More. he's got heart, <laughs> goddammit. Goddammit. And he holds that vampire down. That's what no, 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 no. Here's the thing. I'm fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Lower center of gravity. The well, you said equalizer. it. <laughs> as long as you said it, I'm okay. Come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. You're a fighter, ain't you? <laughs> this is like oh, a sort no. of some sort of fucked up porno. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> is this how you're going to make your side money? You're just going to recreate tales of... Did, we just hit the point where I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> I was going wow. for a Steve Irwin fighting a crocodile, but you're that's sure much better. That's sure much better. Let's go with that. Mr. Yeah. Ivan Cannon been in porn? Sure. You just use all of your best, like, None of you know that. <laughs> you know that. They might guess now. <laughs> you're a naughty boy. Can I roll, <laughs> roll, <laughs> can I roll perception for boner? <laughs> sure you can. Here we go. Charlie breaks his hold on William again. Ooh. It's just turning into Fuck. a little werewolf bitch fight over there. Boner town. Boner town. One success. I don't know. <laughs> it's sort of like There's a, a lot of stuff going on. You get a Cat happy. Mask. You get a happy. No, I'm yeah, trying to see. I'm trying to see if he has a boner. Oh. Wolf does oh. not have a boner. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you rolling you for roll his somebody boner? Somebody else's boner. Yeah, no, he was rolling to see if he had. Yeah, that's a boner. explicitly explained in chapter four. Oh, Besides which, uh, the vampire was a three on the daddy scale, if oh. anyone remembers. Okay. <laughs> Did not. <laughs> that just means he's and, like... And I'd like to remind you guys, Wolf was into the werewolves, not the vampires. Okay, all right. Team Jacob. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, so at your feet, pinned to the ground, uh, the younger vampire takes his first hit of sunlight damage. Yay! And disintegrates to ash. Yo! Oh! Got him! Oh, God! 
Good and job. Matt makes job, it. <laughs> we didn't know his name, and we never will. You <laughs> killed the vampire, guys. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed how much arm throwing I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, this is good. No, this is great. We just killed the and fucking that vampire. Brings us to JD. Well, now that I've seen that the light does something, yeah. I also want to help Wolf just grab this vampire. Okay. And uh, just help hold him down. And hopefully we can just hold him here okay. all yeah. together until we'll, the light. We'll treat that as like a minus him. two on his next roll to try and okay. break the grapple. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Teamwork. Hey, Darla can get on that shit too. Two, yeah, I'll add if, a dice if that seems in character. Helps, up until it becomes yeah. like a group hug, and then it's just stupid. Three. You guys, hold, hold Three. that hug. All right, you're good. You're going to subtract dice from him the next time he tries to break. <laughs> He's slippery. Pile on. <laughs> He's slippery as a greased hog. <laughs> How much experience not. does Darla have with greased hogs? She's from Macon, Georgia. She's in Macon, Georgia. I know. <laughs> I just, that doesn't <laughs> mean Everybody high. grab him until okay. we reduce the dice Half pool to nothing. Table. Lived outside Macon. It wasn't that country. Yeah, oh, exactly. it's pretty country. It's, it was it's pretty, pretty country. country dude. It's decently country. <laughs> How many hugging humans does it take to kill a vampire? I mean, <laughs> how many hugging humans? Darla, <laughs> for the love of God, please take the turn. <laughs> I'm gonna hug that vampire. Combat hugging. It's a new martial art. We're gonna learn. Do we get a tactic? Do we get a hug tactic? Oh, oh, oh shit! A oh, vampire shit. group hug. I, 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 that's a, that was a three hug. On the hugging scale. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do we All get right. the vampire group hug dice? <laughs> you will subtract further dice from his. <laughs> <laughs> break the, the grapple. Oh. The the grapple. oh. <laughs> He's being hugged so good. <laughs> You all know you could have been right? Meanwhile, me <laughs> while all of this love fest hey. is going on, Vic is over here with an arrow in his shoulder, just like, guys, <laughs> do I take it out? Do I leave it in? What do I do? Well, uh, to be fair, no, none of the damage that we can do to this vampire will be as much damage yeah. as the sun. Yeah. <laughs> so if we just hold him in the sun, yeah. that's what JD's yeah. thinking. Yeah. He saw he saw one disintegrate after it got basically held yeah. down. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Charlie's grappled again. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. No, no. Stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> William is doing... But in werewolf noises. William is, is a good boy. <laughs> William's doing exactly what you brought him here to do. Which is <laughs> Charlie is doing well, He's great. already a better but, PA than Henry. I love our adopted son. William is such a good, <laughs> such a good boy. William, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. You get, some, you get some belly scratches. Oh. You gotta... When we take him back to the nat- natural park projected. and try and get him to join us, we gotta be like, dude, he was so awesome. You should have seen him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's going on Twitter. No, if the vampires don't like it, then... then <laughs> or if the werewolves, werewolves, if the werewolves don't, want, don't want him back, then fine. He's ours now. Yeah. So, held in your collective grasp, <laughs> oh, no. the vampire gives a horrible, gut-wrenching wail as his sloughing and burning skin turns to entire blackened limbs Ooh. and huge patches of sores and gushing blood in his chest as the sun continues to Yo. consume him for a further four aggravating. Yo. Yeah. You see, I definitely can't do that kind of damage. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. no, I think this is smart. Oh. Hug him. Hug him. No, dude, this pin, this pin tactic. Way to go. Oh, I don't know what that is. That was a lot what of are dice. you doing? Whatever the what hell it was, rolling? that was a lot of dice. What are you doing? Okay, Darla, give me a resolve component. Ow. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! I know what he's doing now. <laughs> I only have one. Okay. Right. Whatever if you, you think. If you use that willpower, then you will lose the will to fight. Okay. All right. If you lose your last willpower. Okay. You can't use all your willpower. You can still use it, but I'm just telling you, it'll be like that, wolf that. the first episode. Okay, that was not bad. Um. Whew. That would be two. He rolls three. Oh! Oh, What's what's happening? What is happening? So, as the vampire shrieks and wails and (laughs) flinches in your grasp, you feel the desperate, violent, painful rending of a mind inside of yours. And you feel your arms let go. And you reach out and you attack JD and try to... Uh, let loose his grapple. Can the vampire control more than one person at a time? No, so Charlie's free now. Charlie's free now. 
Well, mm-hmm. actually, I should look because he he does have five dots of possession, which is yeah. pretty ridiculous. But because I don't remember being able to do that. However but I don't think that. he can. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but obviously, he's a little desperate. That right might now. be worth the trade. <laughs> so, no offense. Uh, no offense. You're not a werewolf. Starla, yeah, you're not a werewolf. <laughs> we, we might have gotten a werewolf. <laughs> so yeah, Starla, on your next turn, uh, you will uh, attack Darla. JD with your uh, strength brawl. Okay, that's fine. D- don't JD, think you're it, stronger I have, than I am. I have a three yeah. defense. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of it as gaining a werewolf, not losing Darla. Um, and that brings us to Mason's turn. But now I'm not hugging mm. him anymore. Uh, oh no, he's gotten dice back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our, fuck um, is, our hug has become less effective, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so whose turn is it? Is it um, <laughs> Mason's turn? I think I'm going to reload. That was a little bit of a bad shot, but... Oh, um. <laughs> uh, yeah, no shit! <laughs> um, no shit. Okay, well, hold on. Got a little bit. I got a little bit in, in, in medicine. Just turn, I'm just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to roll a dice to scream. I, I play your character, right? <laughs> Medicating Vic would probably take a number of rounds. Just like ti- it's rapid just advantage round. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, you, it only takes one round to stop the bleeding, friend. Okay. I, I haven't even taken it out yet. We're fine. This oh. is true. Okay, so you are not bleeding, bleeding, bleeding yet. Yeah. Um. Not not as I'm aware. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Sorry, our feet um, it, Can I see what's... Do like you think it's reasonable for me to be able to see the happens. vampire? Have a clear shot outside. on the vampire? It, it is really not feasible. I mean, he um, has a lot of bodies around him. <laughs> okay. Um, do I notice any change in any of the party members? You notice Darla let go. Okay. Um, I'm not going to reload, but I'm going to make my way over there since holding the vampire seems to be incredibly successful. If I can get there in time... I'm going to either grapple the vampire, or if it looks like Darla's making an aggressive action, do something to stop her. Because I've seen she's she's not making an aggressive action. She she just seems kind of neutral. Okay, well, Uh, yeah. 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 If I can get over, go ahead, grapple him. Strength Strength brawl. brawl. I'm not good at that, but I'll do my best, boys. Oh, great news! It'll be an easy dice to roll. That's a one. That's a one. Oh, that's two critical fails in a row. You, uh, in the heat of the moment, uh, you go to lend a hand, and you don't trip, you just, there's a lot of people in a very tight space, and you end up uh, grappling JD instead, which breaks his hold on the vampire. Do I need to roll the... But, never fear, Wolf is still clinging. Wolf is here. Wolf, our savior, who can actually roll well. And it is, in fact, his turn. Oh, boy. Uh, Okay, um, so, Wolf flashes back to the night when he was 22 years old and went to uh, the <laughs> cowboy-themed bar in West Hollywood, and they had a had a bucking bronco set up, and he broke his shoulder, and he's like, yeah, this is about on par with that. Okay. We've got to roll to keep the grapple. No, 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 no. How bad is it? Oh. Goose egg. Well, what is he going to do, run into yeah, the sunlight? Th- there's no shade around. So. It is minus his opposing strength, so he does break out quite handily, now that it is just you, and <coughs> you lose your grip. God. And Wolf goes flying yes. back. Well, you're very close to the back. bus, so he actually kind of runs <gasps> and into the, the metal wall of the bus. It, yeah, it, it hurts, but it doesn't deal no. damage. And I apologize, Garrett, I did accidentally skip Vic's turn. So, we'll go to Vic's turn. Uh... Vic is is looking down at the wound in his shoulder, and, just, and he does not know what to do. But I, uh, he he is panicking. But at at this point, he probably <coughs> what, what I want to do is have him take the arrow and then jam it into the vampire. Okay, sure. But I want it to be kind of like just for flavor. It's it's clumsy. Like he thinks he wants to take it out. He ends up breaking it. And then he uses it. Okay. Yeah. So. I won't even make you roll for the arrow bit. Okay. Um, that's totally feasible. <laughs> okay. And uh, just roll for your attack action. Okie doke. And that would be, is that weaponry? Yeah. Um, especially because it's not sharp, I'm going to say it's strength weaponry. Strength weaponry. Okay, well, at least there's that. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. It's still, it's still going to be down to one. Oh. Four. Damn it. Mm. 
it's a really impressive display of grit, and I think everyone will commend Vic for it. I'm going to take a dot in weaponry. <laughs> but the broken shaft of the arrow is not sharp I enough realize to it penetrate. later. I'm a little distracted by... Somebody hugging me! <laughs> can I actually can I burn Sorry. the willpower retroactively? No, you have I had to that do it 10% chance. I keep forgetting to use it. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Um, yeah. It is a really impressive display of grit. Okay. But it is not sharp. It doesn't penetrate the skin. I should have rolled a. Still have an arrowhead in me. <laughs> Which brings it back to JD's turn. JD, you're being grappled by your buddy. Do I have to like actually break it? You could you could just spend mm-hmm. part of like the move part of your action yeah. talking. Be like, dude, let go. Wait. Fucking let go. <laughs> yeah. I, I would not What are you resist. doing? Yeah, You're gonna, like, once, slough him off. Once you call the mistake in, into action, I think that's fair. <laughs> so then you still have your main action. Um, and so he just backed up and hit him on the thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to swing my machete at him, but I want to swing it at his fucking eyes. Okay. <clears throat> Bastard's fucking yeah. piece of shit. Fucking! <laughs> I'm imagining. Fucking! Like, he's just mumbling to himself. He's like, fucking control me. Fucking bite me. Fucking kidnap me. Fucking. <laughs> I just yeah. I was imagining JD saying all that. It's perfect. Yeah, I love okay. it. I love it. This is, this is super good. Uh, one, two, three. Three. Okay. All right. You okay. deal two aggro or two uh, lethal. lethal. <laughs> And it is Darla's turn. <clears throat> did I get him in the eyes? You did. You did it. You get him right <coughs> across the eyes. Were you grappling eyes. earlier? There's a really deep, ugly gash. It starts just Dana? bleeding disgustingly <laughs> down earlier? his face. Yeah, but I'm, did, I'm currently did, mind controlled by oh, a vampire, right. <laughs> and that means that I'm gonna have to punch JD. Wait, when did, <laughs> is your resolve composure at the end or he the beginning? He did say of your to turn? punch me. <laughs> Uh, you get a resolve composure at the top, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Then, but it, it is versus his uh, possession roll. So, you know, <laughs> his possession roll, which is insane. Uh, mine's only two. Let's get him four dice. Uh, he got three, so you yeah. are still Fuck in control. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, two, it looks three, like three, I'm three. just gonna have to punch JD. It just makes sense. Aw, shucks. 3D. Oh no. Darla would never. <laughs> Normally. With, uh, defense. So I'm rolling against his defense. So his. You take away three dice from your. I take away three. Ball. I take away three. Dice. Unless, yeah. unless because I don't know she's an enemy. I don't know. No, I mean your defense represents your like physical barriers Ooh. to being hit. I got nothing. <laughs> so you take a whack, uh, but and you do you do hit him. You're a pretty decent fighter, but it doesn't really phase him through his padded. I do muscles. <laughs> I bet he's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Now JD has no clue what's going on. <laughs> because Mason just grabbed him and then Darla tried to punch him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Really, from JD's perspective, they both could be mind controlled at this point. <laughs> they really could be. I immediately as far let go. As I, know, I immediately let go. I know, but as far as I know, something's going on and it's weird. And it's at this moment, as you're confused, you're angry, you've just exacted a, a t- small taste of revenge against this uh, vampire that has hurt you so that he bursts into flames. Yo! <gasps> and melts. And, and, and just with an otherworldly, almost satanic shout that, that shakes the very ground around you, he disintegrates into first a big charred husk, and then a cloud of smoke and ash, and then a pile of dust <laughs> on the ground. If, if, he, if he turns all ashy first, can I kick his fucking head off? Yeah, you absolutely can. <laughs> as soon as he gets to that point, I'm just going to like front kick his... I'm right in his stupid ash face. And you, you get the... the the pleasant image of his head colliding with the tour bus, denting it just over the wheel lock, and then it disintegrating into ash against the amazing. Do I get to come back I'm to myself? Spit on the ashes. <laughs> can, can, can Vic and can Vic and JD just like just like dual curb stomp the, the pillar of ash until it's just like dirt? You all can do whatever you want. You guys know there's another vampire, right? I'm walking over I, the I last kick crate this one says so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm preoccupied. Yeah, okay. they, they're doing stuff. <laughs> Hey Wolf, come here. We got one to go. On it, on it. Uh, you're, wait, what's your, what's your strength? Okay. You're stronger than me, right? What's your strength? And now you get to snap out of it. Snap <laughs> out. My strength is only two. Oh well, can we crank the crowbar together? Because we're no Darla or JD. Uh, Hell yeah. Do I come out of? Yes, possession? you come out of your mind control. Ow! Why does my hand hurt? <laughs> <laughs> that would be my last <laughs> one. <laughs> Which one of you sons of bitches hit me? Who hit me? Okay, I'm. 
You dick splash. Can I? Well, I don't. I don't have time to really do anything. We got to deal with this so now. Yes, the we sun don't does have, a lot. Don't, to vampires. Don't have that many turns before the sun goes down. Uh, I'm. I'm not going to talk to Charlie right now. But can I just? Is he all right? Does he look like he's? He's back to himself-ish. Yeah. He. He and William are having a lovely little little tussle. They're, they're basically just wrestling. It's like it's like two puppies playing. It's, it's honestly totally worthless. It's, it's like. All right. Yeah. Let's let's roll combined strength here, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, fellas. All right, what are we doing? Strength, what? Uh, roll, just roll a straight strength. Straight strength. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Oh, that's two dice. Fuck. Uh, one. That's all you needed. One. You get it open, the, the top I'm, half. And... I'm, I'm just shouting, hey, guys, oh, one yeah. to go when we're cranking it. And, Turns. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Turns from stomping on ashes. Vic is still kind of stomping. So, yeah, the, you get the, the second crate open. It is the female vampire who is mostly intact but vacant, <laughs> helpless. Uh, she just lays there. You just roll her out of the thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you roll her out and you all watch as she turns slowly into a, a sickly looking person, into a person <laughs> covered in boils, into a person smoking and flaming, <laughs> and then completely passively, eyes staring blankly at the sky, she burns to a pile of ash. Well, that was a lot oh. less satisfying. Okay, so, are, and the werewolves are still like, well, right, the, 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 the werewolves have, have now, now that Charlie is out of his uh, mind control, <laughs> Uh, the werewolves are, are really not fighting. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> they're, they're actually they're actually just kind of doing like. They're a... they're both the thing is they're both still enraged in their garu forms so they can't stop fighting but they're not really going for the for the jugular. <laughs> how, <laughs> they're doing how, that dog how, thing how, where they're how, like play wrestling and they sneeze stop? on each other. <laughs> I'm just gonna shout, Charlie, stop. All right. <laughs> This should be interesting. Hey, guys. I'm going to walk right up to him. I'm also going to be like, hey, guys. You get... I'm not going to get anywhere near him. <laughs> Hell no. Yes, you get a minus two to any uh, social mm. roll against But Charlie. what if he rolls up a newspaper first? <laughs> <laughs> what if he shakes the treat box? Okay. You get minus two? Yes. I'm just going to be like... Yeah. Two successes. All right. That's pretty good. You know, normally people really struggle to get through to a werewolf who is fully enraged and, and in his sort of wolfman form and fighting. But Charlie didn't really get into this fight of his own volition. He's been in his own power for a few minutes. And uh, he is chained. He's so, still got his wrists chained. <laughs> So all of it, even in his sort of uh, garbled, enraged wolf mind, uh, it doesn't all quite add up. And when he hears your voice, it does connect. He recognizes your voice, and he willfully transforms back into his uh, middle <laughs> form. Uh, his Dalu, not his Dalu. <clears throat> yes, Katie's his Dalu going, form. JD's going back into the building. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, w- William, stop. <laughs> All right. Same deal. Yeah. While oh, no successes. Yeah, William. William doesn't answer. But now that his opponent is yielding, he steps back and sort of snarls mm-hmm. and, and howls in victory, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, transforms back. Walk over and, the spray bottle. I walk <laughs> over and embrace Charlie. Charlie's dazed and <coughs> naked and very sweaty, that. and his hands are, are tied together. Okay, and <laughs> so it's it's. It's kind of awkward. You hug him, but it just pushes the like his bound wrists into his chest, and he's just like, "What's going on?" We got, a, we got a lot to explain. But you got taken by a vampire, and we killed it. The ashes are right here. I just turn around and point. What? 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 Holy shit! Yeah, we convinced one of the local tribes to lend. Well, they didn't so much lend as uh, desert one of their members here, Mr. William, young William here. And uh, he came and helped us. He helped keep you from tearing us apart. That vampire had you under his mind control. <clears throat> You're free now. I didn't hurt anybody, did I? No. You just did a lot of sleeping. Oh. Oh, God, my knees. Yeah. He, what am I? What is with my? Untie me, boy. What is with my wrist? Yeah, we had to. We had to do. <laughs> hold on. Let's see what we can do here. Um, do we? We don't have like bolt cutters or anything. Well. 
You could just untie it. Was, that you tied it. Yeah, not that I. Well, it was the, pretty shoddily done. Yeah. But, so. I was gonna say, but the, the 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 crux of it is because he's pulling it, it might have gotten tighter. So I'll, I'll I'll fiddle with it if I can. Yeah, you get him untied. It okay. takes a few minutes. All right. Uh, while all this is going on, Vic has probably just like dropped back into the dirt, just sort of like half falls, and he's just like looking at the arrowhead still and in his shoulder. As soon as Charlie is undone, I want to go med- medicate him. He's still kind of in shock, so when you find him there, he's still just kind of like poking at it, just like doing that thing. When, when you know you have like a bruise and you poke at it, even though you know it's going to hurt, he's kind of like doing that, just like wide-eyed picking at it, just not sure what to do. This is it. Sorry, friend. Get what? that. <laughs> Well, I owe you an apology and at least a couple oh, rounds. Oh, that's right. You did this. Well, I, I'm going to pull out some, some bandage tape and be like, well. Uh, Do we leave it in? Uh, <laughs> no, rather. Uh, you could get infected that way. You already snapped off this end, so. Uh, what do we here, do? I, I pull out my wallet and I'm like, bite this. Oh, come on. Please, no. Well, you could scream if you'd like. Oh, God. I won't make fun of you. <laughs> Yeah. Someone, someone actually hand me a wallet for, for the voice. I don't have a wallet. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, this is your nice one. Yeah, just don't bite it too hard. Okay. <laughs> and then I I, I, I I brace him, and I just reach behind, that, and I pencil, pull it through. And I just pull the arrow through. <laughs> and then I, I, I pull, I just take the bandages, and I just just start wrapping around and just pulling it tight. <laughs> Ah! Well, while this display is going on, uh, while this display is going on, I'm gonna grab. Is there any sort of like nearby, like maybe a, a branch that has some like old leaves or something on it, or yeah, anything like yeah. that? Well, I'm gonna grab one of those and just start sweeping the vampire ash um, <laughs> into the brush. Yeah, we should look for teeth and stuff. I need to sell that shit on eBay. Actually, really, <laughs> I do. No, save it. Sell it. Vampire <laughs> ash. Genuine vampire ash. Yeah. No, we. We, this is how we make our side money, y'all. Side hustle. Side, <laughs> your side money. Well, all right then. Uh, so I try and find a container for our vampire ash. Uh, you remember some beakers and and other you know scientific <clears throat> containers from the facility. You went. JD went back. Are you gonna go join him? <laughs> went back into the lab, right? You went back into the building. I went into the building. Yes, he did. <laughs> you might not know where I'm going. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to him in a minute, but you obviously could join him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll run I, I after him. I would have said something, but he wouldn't have. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf, anything you want to do while we're out here? Um, Wolf is kind of just going to pop a squat and, you know, he rummages through his cargo <laughs> shorts, finds a pretty bent out of shape uh, doobie, and just kind of tries to... Straighten it back up, and you're just gonna let right. it out. Put a doobie. She's <laughs> a doobie. Of course, Wolf would call it a doobie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> doobie doobie. All right. Well, you can take back a willpower point <laughs> for indulging, and we will okay. follow uh, JD first into the facility, and then in a minute, Darla when she gets That's there. Fine. <laughs> yeah, he's going downstairs again. <laughs> All right. You follow the, the, the so trail like of the, blood the that you found. Building. The place that we came out with the the half vampire kids. Yeah. <coughs> and he's going down, he's going back into the lab where they all came from. Sure. To see what's down there. Uh, so you go all the way down to Got the his lab. Back on. Uh, you sort of open <laughs> the console that, that you remember. It, it replays the, the old message Welcome to the Unity Research Institute. Please insert your passcode. <laughs> But, of course, it's still broken, so it's just playing on a loop, and when you approach it, it swings open. You walk inside, past the entryway, the waiting room, the security footage, up the elevators. The The trail of blood gets, you know, wet, like, bigger and more, um, like, free as you go closer. And <laughs> once, yeah. once you get to the landing of the other floor, you see directly into the container where the vampires initially were being held and where the fight took place the other day. Uh, as you walk in, you do not see mm-hmm. any bodies. There's no bodies? No bodies. <laughs> I just kind of look around. Is the, the other kid that was there still there? Uh, yeah, <laughs> when you go back to his cell, gonna, you... Just, uh, like, look through the glass When you look again. through the glass, you see <laughs> the, the inanimate and seemingly uh, deceased body of that boy. Okay. <clears throat> just oh. covered covered in that black box or whatever it was. 
Uh, he was just laying on a gurney, oh. uh, but he was locked in a cell at the back. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I just thought <laughs> I remember. And him he has having... a, a really disgusting <laughs> black, almost yeah. sort of necrotizing, <laughs> there it is. Uh, flesh-eating sort of wound. Yeah. Uh, that at this point uh, has taken over the, the vast majority of his chest. Uh, but he doesn't move. He doesn't. You can't see him breathing. It doesn't seem like he's alive. I'm yeah, definitely not going to mess with that bit. <coughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to stay away from that. I'm just going to peek in. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to look around. I'm going to go and I'm going to kind of like inspect the tubes where they came from. Mm-hmm. See if there's anything in there. They're pretty much as as <laughs> you left them. Uh, there's, you know, some identifying tags that were left behind. The the really the thing you mostly notice is that there is a fourth cylinder that was not full. Yeah. Like they built this facility to hold four and there were only three when you got here. Yeah. So that does stand out to you as something sort of weird. Uh, but there are no <laughs> No, no bodies to go with no all of the bodies blood. Around. Yeah, in any of the rooms, mm. everything is as you left it, except <laughs> that the the individuals you left there are not there. Is there anything else in like the office? Like go through all the stuff in the office. I never really went through any of that myself. Um, yeah, the office is pretty thoroughly looted, um, purely because mm-hmm. Mason scored an exceptional success investigating it previously. Yeah. So it's clearly been looked through, well, and I you... I, I didn't really know that, so... Yeah, you, you didn't know that, but you can <laughs> see that it's it's been through picked everything. through, and there's nothing really left. All the file okay. folders are empty. <laughs> I'll go, go back upstairs, I guess. Was there any, like, <clears throat> blood trails leaving the place at all? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a... You do notice that there is the blood trail you followed in, yeah. but there's also uh, one that's... Uh, more pr- sort of distinct. It's in the form of, of human footsteps going away into the other direction. So, like, it, it goes back out and then the other direction? <clears throat> yeah, back towards the newer building. And the, the double security mm-hmm. doors with the card lock. Okay, you can one. roll an investigation check <laughs> if you like. Hold on, let, hold on let, me, let, me, let me just see. Yeah, I go that way. Okay. I follow it. <laughs> yeah, you follow. Um, the footsteps dry out pretty quickly, um, but you can presume that they went all the way up. It, it takes you, <laughs> it takes you through all of the different forks to the one last path that definitively leads to the exit. Yeah, and it disappears at that point. But you're able to determine <laughs> that it, it definitely whoever left these prints definitely left that they way. They left that way. Okay, I'll go back. Okay, let's go back outside. So uh, you return, uh, Darla. What what did you do once you got inside? Uh, I looked for anything that's like a container, so anything that could be like a jar, maybe that has a lid, or even just something that like contains, you know, like a tongue depressor or something that just has a lid I can seal up. But I don't want vampire ash all over everything. Yeah, it's like it it's suck. pretty easy. It was a, a functioning medical facility clear into the '80s, so you very easily find three big, large. Uh, sort of pickle jars. All right, then I'll take my pickle jars and I'll go <laughs> scoop up. I mean, they're, not, they're not literally pickle jars. No, they're, I like them no. being pickle jars. Okay, That's they're pickle seasonal. jars. You find them yeah. in you find them in the in the cafeteria. Three big pickle uh, jars. So I take my pickle jars, all three of them, in my arms. Cling, um, cling, 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 and then I run back outside and start <laughs> scooping up the vampire ash, like all right. Well, well, before she <laughs> desecrates it vampire completely vampire. with with pickle jar, can you I have plenty it? of time. Can I look through it for stuff that might be useful for? Actual research purposes, or is it just yeah, straight roll ash? Me, roll me an investigation. Okay. Rule book wise, it should just be ash. Do but you if you roll something good, you know. Jars. <laughs> Four. Uh, two. Definitely don't put any like water or anything in them. Uh, no, it's just ash. Okay. It's from ash. <laughs> it's um, like, it's like powdered potatoes. <laughs> from like powdered potatoes. I mean, you also might, since Darla is, is lagging a little getting the containers. Try again. You, you could try again, or, you know, you could take photos. You could do other stuff with it. Yeah, I, I, well, let's see if I can take photos of the ash. Mm-hmm. Maybe whatever spell. And then... Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. Slightly better. All right, yeah. Um, you take photos on your camera of the ash, and it de- develops. It shows on the screen that exactly as you're looking at it. You can deduce uh, that as soon as a vampire is ash, that ash <laughs> completely loses any exceptional properties. It becomes pure, ordinary ash. 
But of course, the people you might sell the dust to don't know that. <laughs> this is true. So at this point, Wolf's going to uh, stomp out what's left of his cigarette, and he's actually going to go through uh, some suitcases to try to find uh, William and Charlie. Oh, oh that's just, nice of you. Just yeah. leave them naked. <laughs> uh, yeah, they you are just naked there. <laughs> you uh, you find a few things. Uh, you notice they're all you know white and black tank tops and and sort of sporty cargo pants. Uh, you assume it's <laughs> JD's bag that you found. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely changing. That's what I wear for the show. It's what I wear for the show. It's not my everyday dress. So, I, yeah, I, you, you get them dressed. I, I will say that if you started using Vic's clothes, he would fight you. <laughs> well, the vampires might have left their clothes. That's an entirely flavor thing that she gets to decide. Mm. Do you think the, the Do you think the vampires did bring along, like, a footlocker with changes of clothes? <clears throat> Uh, well, they were kind of not in possession of clothes to begin yeah. with. They were, I will tell you just for flavor, they were, like, layered up. Like, they were all, despite the summer heat, in thick, heavy dusters and with masks like balaclavas over their faces, they were as be- as protected from the, sun, the sun as, as you could be. Um, <clears throat> but it was not enough. <laughs> but the sun does, well, doesn't good enough. on vampires. It was not... <clears throat> Enough. Yeah. Then, yeah. Does, I think it does. It, does, that, does it do a worse number on older vampires? Yes, it is. It is progressive. It actually is on two scales. I'll just say this because I think it's interesting. Yeah. So vampires have a scale of humanity based on the <clears throat> what kind of heinous acts they've done, <clears throat> how many character breaks they've had, in terms of how well they relate to humanity and how monstrous they are. They have a separate scale that rates their power and age as a vampire called blood potency. Yeah. So uh, their humanity level determines uh, how <clears throat> much damage they or no how often they take damage yeah so emilio was young he was exceptionally no different than you guys so he only took damage once every 10 minutes and because his blood potency was one he only took one lethal every 10 (laughs) minutes whereas the elder vampire had a humanity of three and (laughs) he had a blood potency of six so he took two aggravated two times every turn Jesus. So it it ramps up very harshly as the vampire Mm. becomes less and less human and as they become more and more powerful. It's because the sun Mm. has an inherently purifying uh, spiritual presence that repels and damages the vampires the more corrupted they become. That is really cool. I like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that is cool. Big fan. (laughs) Which which is why why Emilio was actually almost (laughs) harder to fight in the sun. He was. Then... Yeah, <laughs> the other guy. Their but... otherworldly powers very much work against them <laughs> if you fight them in the daytime. So Darla's scooping up vampires. <laughs> what was the other guy's name? Santiago or Amelia? <laughs> uh, Alaric was the old man's Alaric. name. Okay. So, so she, she's just double handfuling. Like <laughs> yeah, so part, you, part of it's just dirt. You, you yeah, like you get it all in the in the jars, and you uh, end up with three jars of vampire ash, and you can add that to your inventory. Yeah. Yes, John. Okay, I was never mind. I was I was gonna say, can I just zipper the one that? the chick was in, since it all is probably still in there. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, you could if you wanted well, we, to no, keep... We, we, we very specifically dumped her out. Oh, right. She was in a box, not a... Not she a was, bag. well... Box. I, I narrated her... Maybe I misunderstood. I narrated her as if she was in the box and you pulled the whole mm-hmm. box out. Okay. okay. Um, That's fine. But it is, it is in the box, but it is a person-sized <laughs> wooden crate. It's yeah. not exactly <laughs> the easiest, travel yeah. size. The yeah. easiest way to get her fully in the sun is yeah. the way we're going to do cool. that. Cool. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna talk to Charlie. Not right now, and I know you have your reasons why you can't share stuff <clears> with me, but you owe me now, and we need to talk. Dude, I don't know. I, I already told you and your friends all I know. I don't know why you're mad at me, man. It's not about being mad. It's not being about being upset. It's about people's lives at this point. If they can overpower you. Then, then we're always in peril, and, and this isn't going to go away. We just need to talk sometime. Well, we shit, brother, you didn't know that. <laughs> Why do you think we're on the run, man? I'm a lone wolf. You really thought I was going to protect you from every big bad thing out there? Clearly not. We just, I need more information. Not right now. I want to talk. Fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, um, William then uh, trots up to you, Mason. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's now human and clothed and looking very exhilarated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great. You did good. That was my first hunt. Yeah. And look what you killed. Not one, not two, but three vampires. Oh, 
Oh, my clan will be so proud of me now. Yeah. I well, killed three uh, vampires. Is there any a- a- ash left at all? <laughs> no, I, it's all over my hands. <laughs> give, him, give him one of the pickle jars. I, I was going to say, if we have, if there's any ash left at all, I'd give him some. And if there's only, like, her hand prints worth, and she's not willing to share the pickle jars, let's be like, give him a one of those chest prints. Like, whatever. Uh, is Dario there any ash left? She's not going to give him a job. Touch him, touch him on his chest. Is there any ash left? Touch the boy. Yeah, there's ash on her hand. Okay. There's ash on my hand. She's not giving him a pickle jar. You know what that's worth anyway? All right. But so, a pickle jar for a whole full batch. Be like, like uh, Darla. 30 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm a big, um, oh, God. Can I just fucking bullshit my way through this? Um, Let me know whenever I reemerge. Yeah, I will. What I want to do is I would take Darla's super ashy hand and I'm just going to draw a smiley face. Oh, no. In his, like, can sweaty... I, can like, I just do... Can we just... Do war markings? Yeah, can we give him some war markings? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to white hand of Saruman, like... Can we? Like, yeah. Is he okay with this? <laughs> yeah, he's, touch, he is so boy. pumped for this. Touch the boy. He's so pumped that it smears the handprint on his face. Oh, good. Well, it's, like, it's like mostly forehead. Well, white hand of okay. Saruman is like this. All right, and just in case... That this comes off, I'll, I'll have this click for your group. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you so much. You can see it for all of time. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. they will not believe this. So, so that they're not worried about your safety, we should, at least some of us, go back and drop you off in the woods. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. That'd be just It's well, getting thank late, you. though. It's getting late. But I want to say... Uh, JB uh, comes back right about now. William, <laughs> uh, I know that... Uh, this was a bit out of the blue, but you really... Sorry, that that's a monkey. I drew a monkey. Um, <laughs> but I know that it's a little bit out of the blue, but, you know, you did a real good job, and um, our show is short, 1 PA, uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. Um, if you're interested, I don't know if your clan uh, allows you to do that, but if you want to tag along with us, I wouldn't be opposed. Well, I mean... Now that I've had my first hunt, and I've proven myself a man, it is time for us to go on our customary pilgrimage. Are you guys so, going to fight more stuff like this? I go into a hospital like for like two seconds, and now we're adopting a kid. Well, you see... Wolf throws his arm around Charlie. That's yep. the Charlie? Thing. No, no. Charlie makes... or William? Jesus Christ. Around I mean, Charlie William. William. <laughs> It's just, yeah, you are dedicated are to being you are dedicated to being a couple with Charlie. <laughs> well, I, Charlie's, nah. Charlie's gonna turn to Jake. Well, JD, it makes sense. I mean, he did help us out, and it can't hurt. I'm not hurt. saying that. No. You helped a lot, kid. Yeah. But no, it can't mm-hmm. hurt. He's a he's a werewolf. He's clearly he's fighting for the winning team here, and you know, like like having more. Yeah, and hey, he's a good kid. Can't do anything wrong. Well, that you would can... be the greatest honor that anyone had ever bestowed on me in my entire life. Well, you can well, talk you don't to have the to go execs. That far. Right, I'm not putting myself on the line for it. It's getting Sorry, late. Sorry, kid. Let's hit the road real quick, regardless of whatever we're doing. Everybody, hop on. Yeah. So we well, get they on the bus in the van. Well, him. That's it. That's an even weirder proposition to <laughs> offer them. As uh, as they're all loading up, uh, Vic, Vic grabs Darla and is just like, "Hey, Darla, I've got some bad news. Vampire Ash is only going for like." Fifteen bucks an ounce right now. Well, sh- an ounce. There's like three yeah. pickle jars. This, that's like so much. But I can't do the math right that's now. That's so much money that we don't have. So but yeah, it's, it's a lot. Of, it's like probably like sixty. I don't know. It's I, a lot of money. <laughs> I just like I checked eBay. I'm also a little delirious right now. Do you think this is infected? Well, fuck. I don't know. Not yet. We gotta take Here, care of it. Check slaps it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, seems good. Maybe a little bit. Don't! <laughs> and so, uh, needling and laughing your way in relief at the end of this uh, horrible weekend, oh. you all pile into the van and drive off into Whoa. the setting sun. And, and the bus. That's, and, yeah. in, 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 and sorry, the in, my bad. In the tour bus, you all hop into the tour bus and drive away into the sunset, and that's where we'll end for today. Yay! Yay. We live! Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell is created and produced by Buckle Nagel and Stephen Pope. The players are Garrett Schmigel as Vic, Deanna Venable as Darla, Michael Morris as JD, Stephen Pope as James Wolfe, and John Tompkins as Mason. 
with Buckle Nagel running the game. Hunter the Vigil 2nd Edition is produced and published by Onyx Path Publishing. Find us online at Uncanny Show on Twitter and www.uncannyvalleyshow.com. Make sure you check out Wild Cards, Experience Pointers, and other Saving Throw Show productions on the Saving Throw Network. And hey, have a good night. <laughs>